The following contest is scheduled for one fall. About to make his way to the ring. From Tokyo, Japan. This is Kenzo Suzuki. Talk about the international flavor of NWA TNA. Kenzo Suzuki representing WJ, the World Japan promotion. We understand WJ wanted to be a part of the NWA TNA first anniversary show. So Kenzo Suzuki is here to make his TNA debut. What an interesting story he is. We'll get into all the details on a man who was a former rugby star turned pro wrestler. And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts. This is Harry Satter. Interesting interpromotional matchup. You know, Kenzo Suzuki used to wrestle for New Japan Pro Wrestling. He recently jumped to this upstart group, WJ. Harry Saturn still wrestles for New Japan Pro. So this is actually an interpromotional match. Kenzo Suzuki to the offense on Saturn. Headed with the clothesline. Suzuki at 6'3", 260 pounds, one of the tallest active wrestlers in the Orient. He was only maybe three or four other wrestlers taller than him. I'll tell you what, Mike, he is sure impressive physically. Now we'll see what he can do with a blower like Perry Saturn. And like you said, Perry Saturn, no stranger to Japanese wrestlers, spends a lot of time in Japan. You know, when Suzuki signed with New Japan, very heavily hyped instantly deemed a future star because of his athletic background. How about this? You know how most wrestlers have their first match in front of a couple hundred people in an out-of-the-way location? Kenzo Suzuki's debut match, his first ever bout in January of 2000 at the Tokyo Dome in front of 63,500 fans, one of the largest crowds in professional wrestling history. Well, that's baptismal by fire right there, Mike. That'll get you right into the game. If you can handle that, then you've got a great start. But Perry Saturn right now taking it through Suzuki. Yeah, Perry Saturn wants to prove that uh, also the extreme revolution is a major force here in NWA TNA. How about a little more international flavor? We talked earlier about Armando Quintero and Conan. Let's take a listen to the Spanish announced team here in NWA TNA. De la afición aquí y te voy a decir una cosa, los japoneses no son muy conocidos por cuidándose el cuerpo, así como este señor tiene un físico muy este bien trabajado. Son Suzuki contra Perry Saturn en TNA NWA, la mejor lucha de los Estados Unidos en español por primera vez al nivel mundial. My guess for you. I, I, didn't realize, I didn't realize you were bilingual there. Translate for us, Don. <laughs> well, I think what he was saying was that uh, B.G. James did a pretty good impression of you there in the uh, interview. Not too over the top, was he? <laughs> Great suplex there by Suzuki, Mike. High vertical suplex takeover goes for the pin. The lateral press and a two count on Saturn. You know, the WJ promotion over in Japan that Kenzo Suzuki is a part of headed by a famous Japanese wrestler, Ricky Choshu. Oh, and a roll up now. Saturn, oh, only got two. Suzuki back to his feet. Rushed into the ropes, the roll up now by Saturn. He's got the trunks hooked, but Suzuki able to use the leg strength and avoid the pin. Oh, there goes, whoa! Just caught him with the kick right there, here it is! Springing off the middle ropes, grazed him with the drop kick, went for the pin, and another two count. That's what I love about NWA, NWA TNA, Mike, is, is their open door policy, and like you said, the international flavor. We invite him in from 10,000 miles away to come in here to the asylum. And this will be an important victory for Suzuki to take back to Japan. T-bone suplex by Saturn, let's see if he can follow up and put Kenzo Suzuki away. Oh man, Perry Saturn, whoa, has pretty much... When we talked about the size and the, and, the, and the weight of Kenzo Suzuki that time, Perry Saturn off the ropes, drops the knees, goes for another pin, and Suzuki kicks out again. You know, Suzuki's first ever match, he was scheduled to wrestle Bill Goldberg at the Tokyo Dome. Oh, caught him with the spear. Well, speaking of Goldberg, how about, how about that? What timing, Mike, today? I tip my hat to the professor. You know, Goldberg was injured, so Goldberg couldn't wrestle Suzuki. Suzuki ended up wrestling Manabu Nakanishi in his Whoa, first match. And caught him with that high knee attack. Here's the pin. Here two. It is. No. How was that for timing? I'll tell you. Wow. What? You mentioned Goldberg? Boom, spear. The go-behind by Saturn, gonna try the German. Oh. 
German suplex dropped him on his head. Lateral press and got Not the shoulder up in two. Saturn back to the offensive. You know, standing switch here. Perry Saturn is, doesn't want to do any way, shape, or form lose to Suzuki here in front of the USA fans, that's for sure. And I'll tell you what, Saturn has pretty much dominated this match, Mike. Saturn plants him. Saturn going to go high risk. Perry Saturn headed to the top. Yes. Yeah. 